Hopkinton High School hosted the second annual Top of the Hill Ceremony. The program honors alumni for exceptional achievements and contributions to society. The program is sponsored by the Hopkinton Parent Teacher Association, the Hopkinton Education Foundation, and Hopkinton High School. This year, the program honored 1898 graduate George Brown, 1923 graduate Walter Brown, 1963 graduate Fred Harris, 1963 graduate Michael Shepard, 1983 graduate Kelly Grill, 1993 graduate Sonny P. Bevel, and 1995 graduate Libby McDonald Bischoff. Hopkinton has given so much more to the world of sports, both in America and abroad, and I'd like to think that, that it should be, it all started here. And it started with these two men you're honoring this evening for achievements and contributions to society. George V. Brown, my grandfather, Walter A. Brown, my uncle. Uh, they were two of America's finest sportsmen, founding fathers and pioneers, and so much that was good in the world of sport in the first 60 years of the 20th century came about because of them. Well, it, it's always a thrill for me to talk about my, my family. I uh, only spent the first five years of my life here, did not come to Hopkinton High myself. But to, to see the, the love and respect that the town still has for my grandfather and my uncle, both of whom have been gone for many, many decades, it, it's just a thrill. And to be able to retell their story to another generation of people, it, it's a wonderful experience. I will never get tired of it. Now, I'm guessing that uh, you probably got a lot of questions from the students here today about your uh, relatives. Actually, uh, no, I didn't. No. The only question I had was uh, one student asked me, did you get free tickets? <laughs> and, and of course I did. And I, I said, uh, I tried to drop a remark and said that the biggest celebrity I actually met along the way was Rin Tin Tin. And I got a total bunch of blank looks. <laughs> who the devil is Rin Tin Tin? And these kids aren't going to know who Rin Tin Tin was, but he was one of Hollywood's biggest stars. In fact, he almost won an Oscar when they first started the Oscars, but they didn't want to give it to an animal. In 2002, he received the William M. Kennedy Award from the Society of Naval Architects and Marine Engineers. And in 2010, he was awarded the Harold E. Saunders Award by the American Society of Naval Engineers. He has received the Maine Maritime Academy Outstanding Alumni Award, as well as an Honorary Doctorate of Science from MMA. I'd now like to welcome Mr. Fred Harris to the stage to receive his award. My wife and I could not think of a better place to grow up than Hopkinton slash Woodville. Um, it was a small town here at the time, but a progressive one filled with wonderful people who were kind to me, and despite many, well, let's call them adventures, the, pe the, the people of this town, my parents, and my teachers set excellent examples of leadership and showed me the importance of setting higher educational and personal goals. The leadership skills I learned here, in particular, became essential in my career and my life. Mike spent seven years in the Marine Corps, including a tour as an infantry pl platoon commander in Vietnam. After receiving a master's degree from Pepperdine University, he taught at Weston High School for seven years. Having a lifelong interest in construction, he and his brother Bob built residential additions as well as new homes, primarily in town. Small towns like ours thrive <clears throat> when its citizens step up and serve, and they always give back. I found that the best jobs in life are the jobs you don't get paid for. Being a parent, being a selectman, being on the Conservation Commission, being on a building committee, all those jobs, being a coach at soccer, being a coach at softball, baseball, they're all jobs you never get paid for, but in the end, as you look back at it from the 70 year perspective, those are the best jobs you've ever had. Um, and that's why I, I tried to encourage the kids today to get involved and, and go out there because that's how small towns like ours flourish. 